Comunicacio SVD. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather together to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, let us first ask the Lord's forgiveness for our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated. A reading from the first book of King. When the ti time of David's death drew near, he gave this instruction to his own son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God following his ways and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees. And they were written in the law of Moses that you may succeed in whatever you do, wherever you turn, and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made in my behalf when he said, if your sons so conduct themselves, they will remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul. You shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was 40 years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated in the throne of his father David with his sovereignty firmly established. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, 
You are exalted. Head over all, riches and honor are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Can you rise? The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kindly be seated. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Magandang tanghali po, Father Linus. At binabati rin natin ang lahat ng mga sumusubaybay sa atin ngayong live telecast and coverage of our St. Jude Holy Mass and Novena 12 noon every first Thursday of the month. Kaya ito po ay worldwide through the facilities of TV Maria and through the internet. So batiin natin ang ating mga Kapanali ka sa pananampalataya na nakikiisa sa atin sa misang ito at pagnunubena. And please continue to pray for the apostolate of TV Maria, pagpapalaganap ng Catholic programming through uh, the facilities not only of TV Maria, but also sa cable and through the internet. Now, what is the message for us? Well, in the first, in the second reading, which is the gospel, ito yung pagsusugo ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga alagad to preach the gospel everywhere and to do what he himself was doing. Preaching, teaching, and healing the sick and expelling demons in order so that everyone will know that the kingdom of God has arrived in Christ Jesus. So ito, ang message sa atin, let's do our own part in sharing the gospel of Jesus wherever we are. Amen? Amen. Alright. Now, the, sec uh, the first reading naman ay napakaganda rin. Mm -hmm. Because... The first reading gives us the secret 
of success. What is the secret of success? Ang lihim ng tagumpay sa buhay. Pakinggan ang sinasabi ng uh, first reading. David is about to die. Yung hari, mamamatay na. Nagbibigay ng tagubilin sa kanyang anak, the next king. At sinasabi niya, ang secret of success. Mandate of the Lord your God. Sabihin, sumunod sa kautusan at kalooban ng Panginoon. Follow His ways. Sundin ang daan ng Panginoon. Observe His statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees. O ito ha, makinig. In order that you may succeed in what Ever you do, that's the secrets of success. Love the Lord, follow the Lord, do what is right before the Lord. Amen. Yo, oh, tatanungin, tatanungin ang estudiante. What is the secret of success as a student? Oh, I said, study hard, do your homework, attend classes, and observe the rules and regulations of the school. Correct? Oh. Ay, anong kaibahan nito? If you want to be successful, then follow the Lord. Follow the commandments. Do what is right before the Lord. And you will have success in whatever you do. Ano man daw ang inyong gawin, magiging matagumpay kayo, tayo, if we put the Lord at the center of all our endeavors. Amen? Palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. Mm -hmm. Tanungin ninyo ang mga OFWs abroad. Oh, alimbawa, sa United Arab Emirates. Very Maraming very, very successful dyan. Sa Dubai and other areas in the United Arab Emirates. Nakarating ako dyan sa awa ng Diyos. Ang sabi ng karamihan sa ating mga kababayan, pag tinanong mo, bakit kayo successful dito? Father, simple lang po. Observe the laws and regulations of their country at wala kang aalalahanin. You! Observe. Follow the rules and regulations at wala kang aalalahanin. And that is correct. That is correct. But if you observe, if you do not, ay, sabi niya, dyan, ta, dyan tayo mapapahamak. Ay, utak lang naman yun. So, pag magtatanong, bakit kaya ako hindi successful? Bakit kaya ako ganito? Bakit kaya ako ganito? Bakit kaya ako ganito? Ay, talungin mo ang sarili mo. Do you love the Lord? Do you follow the commandments of the Lord? Do you do what is right before the Lord? Oh, uh, Father, sa totoo lang, namimili po ako eh. Pinipili ko lang ho yung gusto ko gawin. Ano ibig mong sabihin? Eh katulad halimbawa, yung pagpapatawad, sinasabi ko sa Lord, excuse mo na dyan, di ko kaya yan. O oh, ano magagawa mo dyan? Kalooban ng Panginoon yan, di mo sinusunod. Oo. O oh, eh, Uh, ginagawa ko ang lahat maliban sa, alam mo na, lalaki ako, Father. Siyempre, ang lalaki nagahanap. Ay, may asawa ka na. Ay, kahit na. oh ayun. Ay, successful ka ba? Yun nga ho, eh. Yun. Observe. Ay, uulitin ko ha, para hindi na tayo magtalo. Ang Diyos na lang ang kausapin ninyo, ito ang sinasabi ng Panginoon. In order for you, that means all of us, to succeed in whatever you do, keep the commandments of the Lord. Obey His will. Keep Him in mind at all times. Love Him above all. 
if you do this, you will have true success because this is the secret of success. Pasalamatan natin ang ating Panginoon. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and the saints, we praise you as without and we acclaim. Santo, 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 Dios Puspos ng walhati, langit at lupa, sana, sana, sa kahitaasan. Pinagpala ang narito sa lalan ng Panginoon, o sana, o sana. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Cecilio and Anita and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, the souls in purgatory, the souls we remember at this holy mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles, with St. Eutadeus, Saints Arnold and Joseph, and our SVD martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask forgiveness from the Heavenly Father to the words Jesus gave us. from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all worry and distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us greet one another with God's love, joy, and peace. Cordero ng Diyos Nang mga kasalanan Nang salibutan Maawag ka sa Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those invited to His banquet. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy me. that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Holy Communion shall be done row by row. Ang lagi kong kausap Ikaw ang laging tinatawag Gabay ka Ikaw at pagsisikap Ikaw Ang tunay na kaibigan Ginto ang puso kaloban Ngunit hindi lahat ay mahialam 
na Kristo ang iyong pangalan. Kristo, Kristo, bakit minsan ka lang nakikilala? Kapag nakadama ng lusa at pangamba, tinatawag ka, sana'y mawa ka. Kristo, Kristo, kulang pa ba ang pag-ibig na dulot mo? Pati na ang mundo ngayon'y gulong-gulo. Anong dapat gawin? Kami tulungan mo, Kristo. Ikaw ang lagi kong kausap Ikaw ang lagi tinatawag Gabay ka ng bawat pangarap Lakas ng bawat pasisikap Ikaw ang tunay na kaibigan Ginto ang puso't kaloban Ngunit hindi lahat ay may alam Na Kristo ang iyong pangalan Kristo Saan ka lang nakikilala Kapag nakadama ng dusa at pangamba Tinatawagan ka, sana'y mawa ka Kristo, Kristo Kulang pa ba ang pag-ibig? Nadulot mo, pati na ang mundo ngayon gulung-gulo. Anong dapat gawin? Kami tulungan mo, Kristo. Oh Kristo, ng buhay ko. Nalunod ako sa ganda ng mundo Puso'y nabulag sa yaman nito Di ko makita ang kaliwanagan Dulot ng sang buhay na banal Mundo ko ay gulong-gulo Sa takbo ng buhay Ako ay pagod na At nagdurusa 
Sino ang susundin ng aking damdamin? O Jesus, na nag-alay ng buhay na banal. Bigyan mo ako ng pagkakataong ialay ang aking pagbabago. Buhay na dakila, ito ang ngiling ko. Sabihin mo lamang At susunod ako Let your face shine on your servant Save me in your merciful love. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call upon you. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, the Holy Eucharist, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase in us through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated. Announcement. To somehow help ease the flight of our brethren in the Mount Mayon eruption, the devastated areas, we will have a special second collection as an act of solidarity with them with the hope that they find comfort and consolation in spite of the difficulties they are now going through. Distribution of funds will be administered by our Ligas PSVD Fathers Community in Albay. Thank you and God bless. Uh, so, tinatawagan ko po kayo. Nakita naman natin sa news, sa TV, ang hirap at sakit ng mga victims ng Mount Mayon eruption. Magmagandang loob po tayo at tulungan natin sila at ang Diyos ang gaganti sa inyo. As Wednesday, the start of the Lenten season will be on February 14, 2018. As Wednesday is a day of fasting and abstinence, except for those with medical or health conditions. Fasting is required by all lay people within the age bracket of 18 to 60 years old and abstinence from age 14 years old and above. On Ash Wednesday, the access to be imposed on the faithful come from the palms blessed during the Palm Sunday of the previous year. In this regard, the shrine would appreciate the donation of your old palms to be burned into ashes for use during the imposition of ashes. Please be informed that the masses on February 14, as Wednesday, will be at 6.30 in the morning, 12 o'clock noon, 6 o'clock in the evening, and an additional 7 o'clock evening mass so as to accommodate the numerous students who come to the shrine after the their classes and those who come from work. As we answer in the start of the Lenten season, we pray for God's continuing guidance as we live out the gospel, the gospel values in our lives. Maraming salamat po. Kindly rise. Prayer of Saint Gertrude for the Holy Souls in Purgatory. Eternal Father, Father we, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses offered throughout the world today. For all the Holy Souls in Purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, 
those in our homes and in our families. In Jesus' name, Amen. Kung meron pang nais magdagdag ng abuloy o tulong para sa mga victims ng Mayon Volcano Eruption, sa office lang po ninyo pakidala. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please kneel for our novena. O saluta Christos Kindly turn to page 15. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who then the hearts, the hearts of, of thy faithful, faithful people by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit. spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in His holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly turn to page 33-0, the Epistle of St. Jude, verse 21. I love thee, O Jesus, who are perfect charity, who in thine essence are true God and true man, in whom are contained the treasures of the divinity and all the fullness of grace which is hands to us upon this earth. I love thee, dear Jesus, who for love of me has made thyself like unto me and kindled within me the flame of thy sacred love which thou didst bring from heaven, that loving thee I may grow into thy likeness. I love thee, divine Jesus, my Lord and Master, because thou hast redeemed and freed me for a slave of sin, by the precious blood of thy sweet mercy, grant that I may enjoy the full fruit of thy redemption. O sweetest Jesus, I implore that I may love thee more and more. Most loving Redeemer, at thy departure from this world, thou didst not wish to leave us orphans. In thy compassionate love, Thou didst institute the most holy sacrament of the altar, wherein thou hast given thyself in order to draw our hearts to thee, and enrich us with the plenitude of thy graces. In this sacred mystery, it is a desire to hear our prayers and to be our refuge in every need, our support in all difficulties, our comfort in every affliction. Thou art wonderful, O Lord, in all thy works, but in none more wonderful than in the sacrament of thy love. With deepest reverence and awe, we behold the divine majesty, whom heaven and earth cannot contain, enclosed under the humble appearance of bread. Here the creator and ruler of the entire universe condescends to dwell with the children of men and invites the poor and needy to come to him. O oh, Jesus, our advocate, both high priest and land forever. It was for our redemption and sanctification that thou didst offer thyself upon the altar of the cross. In thy boundless love, 
Don't decide that these sacrifices of salvation should be daily renewed throughout the entire world until the end of time. That through the merits of thy passion, we may obtain the forgiveness of our sins and be filled with thy grace and blessing. In every place there is a sacrifice, and there is offered to my name a clean oblation. The Holy Mass is our only means of worthily adoring and thanking our Heavenly Father. Through this sacrifice, the divine justice is unceasingly honored and appeased, and the treasures of grace are opened to us. O oh God, how impenetrable is thy wisdom, how infinite thy power, how boundless thy goodness and love. Kindly turn to page 37, 37, Novena Prayers, O Glorious Apostle, Sengel Tadeus, to a relative of Jesus and Mary. I send thee to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces bestowed upon thee. Humbly prostrate before thee, I implore thee through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. Oh, despise not my poor prayers. Let not my trust be confounded. To thee, God, is granted the privilege of wedding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I'll be grateful to thee, and will be thy faithful client, until I can thank thee in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us, that before death. We may expate of our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, St. Gildadeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered thy beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused thee to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and boasts the university as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore thee, of that particular privilege accorded to thee to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolation and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, sufferings particularly. And that I may bless God with thee and all the elect forever. I promise thee, you blessed youth, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor thee as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to thee. Amen. Saint you today, you pray for us. And for all we invoke thy aid. Let us pray. Saint Jude the Deus, the relative of Jesus Christ, the glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for the virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor thee and trust in thee. Thou art thy powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to thee and greet thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with thy powerful intercession, for thou hast received from God the privilege to assist with a manifest help those who almost despaired of all hope. Look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation. And my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with turns. And scarcely one moment passes. But he is a witness of my tears and sighs. Uneasiness, discouragement mistrust and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou cannot forsake me in this sad plight. 
I will not depart from thee until thou hast served me. O hasten to my aid, and be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon thee, and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. Saint Joseph, you pray for us and for all who invoke thy aid. Oh my God, I firmly believe that thou art really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore thee here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship thy sacred presence with all possible humility. Oh my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O oh Lord, that I have offended. We pray one our Father, one Hail Mary and glory be for our special and urgent intention. And for the intentions of the Holy Father, we also pray for the poor, the sick, the oppressed, the jobless, the prisoners, for the peace of our country and the whole world, especially in Marawi City and for our president. We also pray for the volcano, Victim, earthquake, and typhoon victims. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You have lived and reigned forever and ever.
the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through men. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph and Most Chaste Spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints. O Sacrament. page 43 blessing for the sick grant almighty and eternal God everlasting help to those who believe hear us for thy sake for whom we implore thy aid of thy tender mercy that being to prayer. May the Lord in His love and mercy 